Underneath the southern skies of Georgia, we've got daytime baseball from SunTrust Park. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Miami Marlins and the Atlanta Braves. Going to be an interesting contrast in styles in this one as one of baseball's hardest throwers goes head-to-head -head with a top finesse arm. He gets the fastball, and he can't catch up to the express. Into the box now, Justin Bohr. Back goes Mark Hankis, and it's gone! As the Marlins will take a one to nothing lead. Well, if I was the manager, I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy. I mean, he's hit three home runs against them in this series. What more do they need to see? Marlins are on the board first thanks to the solo home run. Bottom of the first coming up from Sun Trust Park. It's now 1 0 Miami. Atlanta. Jose Bautista batter pitcher numbers against Dan Straley. He's just one for six. Hit the other way out toward right field. Dietrich is in pursuit, but he won't get to it. And this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head, one hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Here's the 0-2. And he popped him up. Coming in is Brinson, but he can't get to it. That's a one-out hit. In at second safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. 0 oh, 1, here's the pitch. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Looking up is Brinson. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Here, and it's given the Braves a 3 to 1 lead. One gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. Here now the 2-2. Hit out towards second. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. Swinging a soft liner, and that's in there. Base hit. Now a long throw to third. And he is in there. Boy, this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just another example. And even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages another base hit. Into the box, Dan Straley rounded down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. And the run will score from third to make this a 3-2 to two ball game. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Liner towards second. Well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Braves lead it three to two. Next, you could probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two-hole hitter. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And this one is gone. A home run. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. And he'll be very happy with how the day went. Christopher Rizzolo will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Needing three runs in the ninth. That means game over. Hit hard towards center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And he'll pull into second with one away. Well, it isn't exactly earth shattering, but when you struggle like they have at the plate all day, you take any extra base hit that you can get. If they can string together a few at bats like that, they're going to get right back into this thing. Here's Cameron Mabin now as he rips it on the ground to second. Camargo picks it up cleanly. Throw on to first, takes care of Mabin, and there are two away. 
And a base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading in. And we'll have to leave it there. Justin Bohr will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. First pitch on its way. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Looking up is Inciarte. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. His second of the game, and it's a 5-3 game now. That, my friends, is a cardinal sin for any closer. You can't give up the long ball. Good thing for him, he still has the lead. We'll see now if he can rebound and actually keep it. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? He brings it in, and the Braves have put an end to their four-game slide as this ball game is over. Well done. Five to three, the final score in this afternoon's game. The Atlanta Braves took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Mike Fultonevich with his fourth win this season. Arodis Vizcaino closes the door for the save, his 11th of the campaign. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show.